Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates, out here today at Williams Academy of Mixed Martial Arts in Fountain Valley, California. And after a year of pestering me, I agreed to finally meet again with Chris Casamasa. You might know him from the movie Mortal Kombat. He played the role of Cockroach. Scorpion. Scorpion. I knew, Scorpion. It, knew it was some kind of bug. Anyway, uh, he is back on his Red Dragon bull and so I thought I would bring him out here to play the role he is best known for, which to me is Discount Tony Stark. Uh, what are you going to be doing for us today? Uh, I'm going to be doing the hashtag I'm not Iron Man challenge and using a very special weapon called Thunderballs. Great. I'll teach you some real self-defense once he's done playing with his red rocket. So the Thunderball is actually an Americanized weapon based on an ancient Japanese weapon called the Manriki Kusari. The Manriki Kusari was typically used by the guards of the palace to protect the grounds from invaders. It was a longer chain with weights and or knives at the opposite end, also similar to the kunai. And for those of you that are fans of Mortal Kombat, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The weight of it also gave them a bolo effect where they could throw it at something wrap it around, and subdue an attacker. That's one of the fun ways this weapon works. So it goes something like this. And then you can grab him, you can choke him, take him down, and do what you need. All right, my number one problem with yard sale Wolverine's technique is that he doesn't understand the origin of the weapon or its proper use in combat, okay? First of all, this is called the Merengue Cucaracha. Everybody knows that, okay? This weapon originated back in ancient Italy during the famous chef wars, where people couldn't agree on whether or not they liked spaghetti or meatballs or lasagna. So the chefs had battles utilizing their food as weapons. Those who cooked spaghetti and meatballs would take the noodles and freeze the balls at the end of them, turning them into weapons. If they faced off with one of the lasagna chef warriors that were very famously deadly with their knives that, that they would use to uh, cut the lasagna, they would do something different, okay? Let's say he brandishes his lasagna knife. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the balls, I'm gonna drop my balls right down into his hole there, okay? Near the way he's holding the sword. I can use that to disarm, okay? Then dropping here and, okay, striking to the groin. Pulling the weapon down, wrapping around, choking. Going down toward the groin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cuff the balls. What I want to do is soften the balls. Then at that point, grabbing, tripping him down to the ground. And if I want to, just lay my balls right on his face. This is like the Italian version of Chinese water torture. Instead of water, it's balls. So I would just be using the heat from my enemy's body to thaw my balls out. And then it was considered a custom in battle to give your enemy his last meal. So then I would just feed him my balls. Just have him eat them. And then once he'd had enough of my balls, just take the napkin. That's why this is a napkin. Just take this and just... Mm. That was a delicious meal of balls. Then maybe if he didn't eat the whole thing, just choke him. And if he couldn't breathe, that's called a ball gag. Then he just dies. And as always, restomp that groin. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Chris Casamasa Serpico for coming out here and showing us how to play with some balls. Uh, if there's anything you want them to pay attention to out on the internets. Scorpion, not Serpico. Check out the new Mortal Kombat film that comes out on April 16th. It's going to be amazing. And until then, as they used to say in ancient Italy, Sukasa Mufasa. Mufasa Mikasa. Almost hit you with your own balls. Yeah.
Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday or you want me to tell you or your instructor why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restop that groin.